knew they were important, I knew they were unique, but we needed to know more about them. Photo albums are not only keepsakes, they are really the tools of memory. They are the ways in which we make and pass down and interpret our own families. The hundreds of albums that are here, there's only a handful that are from African-American families. Initially, the information we knew about the Arabella Chapman albums was only what was in the albums themselves, the photos and the inscriptions, and that wasn't much. So how to do something with the Chapman albums? Well, find 35 really bright undergraduates at the University of Michigan and let them actually see, touch the albums, and they were sold. We researched the area Arabelle lived in and it was a, a lot harder to find information about that time period in that era than I thought. So it just shows how much more work needs to be done. Here at the Clements Library, they disassembled the album so that we could see the reverse side of the images, finding handwritten notes, um, stamps from the photograph studios where they were taken. So over the course of the semester, we learned so much about Arabella Chapman. She's a mother, a wife, um, a daughter. But for us, she gets to be what it's like to live in that era. Part of our purpose curating these albums online was to invite other people to help us. And we can incorporate what other people know about these images. Now our students have not only learned a great deal about 19th century African American history, they produced new knowledge about 19th century African-American history. We learned a lot about Arabella and the permanence of a photograph, so it made me really consider what is most permanent to me and what I would want my grandchildren to look at. Thinking about Arabella's portraits as some version of a 19th century selfie, crafting your own image, telling your own story. So in some ways, we're not so far from Arabella, even as our technology has changed so dramatically.